Hey everyone, it's Andrew Lucio, and today I'm here with one of our sponsored players, Dalen Mack, Big Mac Tech over here, and we're going to be talking spoilers, spoiler <laughs> reveal cards. <laughs> Let's begin. All right, Dalen, today's the day. Today is the day. I want everyone to understand that I've already seen these cards. So I'm going to let you know right now, hashtag Brute Nation. <laughs> Did they know that I was going to be looking at these cards? I don't know. They were like, oh, let's flip through the pages. Dale and Mag, let's send them a couple of cards to reveal. And they just happened to be... The Brute Cards! <laughs> I'm super excited to reveal these to you, all the Brute players. Do these things make our decks so good that Brute is going to be king of the hill? I wouldn't say that. But what I would say is that they're a little spicy. Yeah. Which one do you want to start with? Walk us through the card. All right. Well, first I want to say, uh, say thank you to Legend Story Studios for just giving me the chance to do this. I mean, I've... I've done a lot of cool things in my life, and this is this is definitely up there. This is one of the one of the coolest. So, we'll start off with the first. Oh, not that one. That, 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 that's a really We're saving good, that one. That's really good. We'll start off with uh, this. So, there was a spoiler that um, LSS was giving equipment up on the twitters. Um, up on the twitters. On the twitters to um, heroes that do not have them currently in their uh, equipment slot. Four and heroes, I think they said. Four heroes, and you know. To me, I think uh, it's the original four heroes because one doesn't have uh, brute doesn't have an arms. Yep, that's true. Uh, Ninja doesn't have a chest piece, right? That's true. Yeah. And then warrior doesn't have a headpiece. A headpiece. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, that's that's all four, right? No, then you got legs. Leg and then uh, legs guardian. for yeah, guardian. Guardian yeah. does not have legs, which that's is correct. which is crazy that they don't have legs because we're, like we're wearing heavy. those mage master boots all the time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, our first card is um. Skull Crushers Woo! for the Brew class. It is a on the screen. It is a arms piece for the Brew class. Oh, um, yeah, looks good. Whenever you roll a five or a six on a die, which means your turn's already gonna be really good. You rolled a five or a six. Um, your brute attacks this turn gain plus one, and it says brute attacks, not brute attack actions. It just says brute attacks. So which is good. The claws. Oh god. Um, yes. You know if you if you play the the club. Which you shouldn't, but anyways, uh, <laughs> shouldn't play the club. But yeah, the claws, the the attacks, uh, they're just gonna be good. But if you just so happen to roll a one, it destroys itself, which is kind of, you know. Well, that just means you need to get in your early block value, right? I mean, yeah. the thing has battle worn. It's got one on it. Yeah, speaking get in of your blocking, early, yeah. it can block. That's right. <laughs> it can block. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey. Gambler's gloves are nice. Don't get me wrong. I've just never been a fan of gambler's gloves. I don't want to wear them. And uh, this is so good. And even in the Prism matchup, when we would kind of maybe lean towards wearing the Gambler's Gloves, you really don't need to. It, it, this card right here tells me that there are going to be other cards in Everfest that have to do with dice manipulation in some form or fashion. Yeah. Otherwise, how could we guarantee the rolls, right? Because like Scabskins, we can roll that you know once a turn. But if, for example, we're facing Oldham and Oldham decides to, you know, uh, use their instant card, the one that can destroy equipment, and they destroy right. our Scabskins. So the Scabskins are gone. Yeah. How are we rolling dice, right? So Everfest, being the big carnival that it is, I'm assuming we might get some other cards that are going to allow us to roll dice. It would be very fitting. It would be very fitting. Very now, fitting. if you're looking at the image on the screen and you saw the picture, the texture of the glove looks like the Scabskins a little bit. It looks Ooh, like yeah, we're okay. making it from the same animal, so it kind of all fits in thematically. I okay. like that. I like that. All right, we got another card. Another card. Let's look at the and other again, card. Again, thank you to LSS. I always thought I was just, when they when they told me I was going to get a preview card. I thought it was just one card, but they sent two. So <laughs> thank you again for uh, LSS for sending these cards. Now this next card is uh, pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. good. Oh yes, uh, and especially with. The meta being what it is right now, defensive, everyone's mm -hmm. running heavy defense reacts. Uh, the quote-unquote best uh, aggro deck is kind of gone. Plunder run's gone, mm -hmm. which a lot of decks were relying on to yes. be, be aggressive. So um, we're thinking going forward that the, the meta is going to be very defensive. And what better way to go against defensive decks and is to intimidate their D-reacts out of their hand. We Image have the, on the screen. We have the high roller. 
Oh God, yes. And the name is fitting because you, absolutely. If, if you roll high, you, you you're feeling like a high roller at Vegas. You're oh, feeling, absolutely. You're feeling very good. It's uh, one of our favorite turns too. I went against X person and they high rolled the hell out of me. Rolled. Hell yeah. <laughs> so what this card does is zero cost brute zero. card. Zero. Blocks for three. I love Red. it. Love it. It's a rare. So there's probably a. Hopefully, yes. A a line. We're hoping for all red, three colors: red, yellow, and blue. Absolutely. And when you play it, intimidate, fitting, right? Yeah, fitting. fitting. Mm-hmm. If you have rolled a four, five, or a six this turn, intimidate twice. Feels good. So a zero card, zero cost card. Mm-hmm. You just play, and possibly intimidate yep. twice. Oh god! Yeah. And if you've already rolled a four, five, or six, your turn's already crazy. It's looking good. Looking very, very strong, and it has go again. So you play it. Hopefully intimidate twice. But even if you don't intimidate twice, the fact that you just have a card that just, you know, intimidates once, a non-attack, which Brood needed. Oh, God, yes. And if they get nine more of these, they're in business. Because, like I said, the like like we said, the meta slowing down. It is. Getting slower. And everyone's running a high amount of D-Reacts. And Brute Feast on those decks. Like, Brute Feast on Viscerai. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Cards like this help the, the Bravo, the Oldham matchups. They can't, they can't do what they want to do to defend properly. So. Yep. And then one of the great things about Intimidate and has always been about Intimidate uh, is that it's random. So we can pull that card that they really, really want. And and I've said this before, though, the way that you fight Brute is you got to try to front load the defense as much as possible, i.e. get the defense out of your hand so it can be more consistent. So you're either laying <coughs> something like an Enchanted Melody on the board or you're trying to take your D-Reacts and put them in your arsenal where the Brute can't touch them. Yep. So with that being said, on a Scab Skin's turn, where we have a five card hand because we have one in the arsenal. Maybe that one in the arsenal is high roller. We could rip two cards out of your hand before we even start the process of killing you. And I love it. I love it. We have now a card that we've been looking for to make intimidation more consistent overall. Being able to maybe possibly put in a nine card suite, zero cost, go again. And we always want to make sure that we can sequence anything in our hand that isn't a six or higher damage attack. It's beautiful. It fits all the things that we want, and if it's in all three colors, mwah, 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 mwah. this is this is such a great addition, such a gas card for Brute overall. I'm really excited, really, really excited to see more spoilers coming into this week. Couldn't have asked for two better cards. I kind of feel like they knew you were on the team. They knew I was <laughs> yeah. here. They're like, Brute Nation, we want to send them the cards. We want to send them the gas. We want to send them the hopes and the dreams. The ban list was insane. I couldn't be happier to play the game right now. Uh, shout out to LSS as well. Uh, you know, James White and 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 Alan Hill and all those guys over there. You're doing the things. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I really don't know what else to say. Is there anything else you want to say before we cut out? Uh, no, it's just, you know, when, coming into the game, I thought Intimidate was, you know, and I, I come from Dragon Ball Super, but um, <laughs> coming into the game, I thought Intimidate was one of the most broken mechanics, especially when, you, know, you just have a four card hand. Absolutely. And being able to just randomly snipe a card out of someone's hand and you know when the game is supposed to be interactive, your opponent can't interact with you. So it's good to see that the uh that this got uh this mechanic got more support. Um yeah, I think this card is stable. It stable. allows us and it also allows us to do a lot of transitional things with the deck. There were a lot of times where we wanted to, you know, maybe look at cards that didn't require us to you know, randomly discard something out of our hand. Yeah, like, but we still want the consistency, or we at least want the possibility of the consistency of Intimidate. So what we said earlier about the, we think there's going to be more dice effects in this set, this card says, hey, I think you're going to need some uh, some cards that are going to allow you to roll dice. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, <clears throat> how do we consistently get that off of the two, right? Because yeah. like, we can't just rely on Scavskins all the time. Like I said, we have cards in the game now. And, and Ice has a card that says destroy equipment with negative counters on it. And you know we're going to block with those scab skins. It's yeah. a two block with Battle Warren. Of course we're going to block. So it's going to have a counter on it, easily destroyed. We need more cards that let us roll dice. And I think High Roller says there's possibly going to be more dice in, in your future, Brute. More dice. Yeah. I love dice. I'm nutty for dice. Love dice games. Rolling more dice. And, and I, know, uh, I know the Bun Brothers. And uh, all the guys at Covenant, they they love Star Wars Destiny. That was a dice game. I'm a big fan of that, too. Whatever the point is, all I'm saying is dice in the future, high roller, such a good card. Very good addition to the Brute deck. Super side. Could be more exciting. It's just insane because, you know, four or five, you roll a four or five or six, that means you have two, two action points for the turn. And that's what you want because right. the four gets you two action points, right? Mm-hmm. So when we're rolling scab skins, we want the four or higher. Man, it's just crazy because now you have two attacks. 
and your opponent only has two cards to defend them with. Yeah. Just, just good. Just, just efficient. Efficient. I can definitely see. <laughs> I can definitely see a lot of people rolling their eyes like, oh, he rolled high on the high rollers. You oh know. God, yes. High rolled the hell out of me. You know, but very good, very good card. Um, thank you again, LSS. You know, this is sort of privilege, honor of a lifetime. Uh, you know, hopefully I get to do. Hopefully I get to do it again. <laughs> hopefully I get to do it again. It was very fun. Yeah, I'm um, looking forward to more spoilers this week and a lot of other things that are coming out. So this video is airing Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday, yep. Yep. January 25th. Yep. Wait, today's the 24th, though, right? Oh, uh, no, it's the 24th 25th. in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, New Zealand's – at the time of this recording, it is January 23rd. But New Zealand has already – they're a day ahead. They're in the future. So they've already uh, started releasing spoilers. So. They get to live in the future, too. Yeah. Insane. Anyways, peace out, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.